Also in the prologue, you do see Catwoman in costume, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. uh, something that we didn't get to see with the official Catwoman photo released a while back with the goggles. Instead, it's in, more of a mask. in the prologue, it's a very iconic, recognizable Catwoman mask. Definitely. Which put a lot of people to rest, rest regarding, oh, yeah. the costume's not cat-like at all. Here you have... A cat-like costume. A Catwoman costume, recognizable, nice mask. Looks great. Yeah, and also, kind of weird, like a little odd mm -hmm. clip, just, you see it for a few mm -hmm. seconds in the prologue tops, it looks like uh, Anne Hathaway, Catwoman, mm -hmm. is riding in the back of a cop car, and her head appears to be shaved, mm -hmm. and just kind of leads us to wonder what she's going to go yeah. through in this movie. So, I mean, incarceration, what happens with that? Maybe is she caught? Yeah, is she yeah. taken by Bane? Mm -hmm. yeah, Obviously wonder. we'll find out, but kind Absolutely. of a cool little clip Absolutely. right there. And then what is the final oh. image that... Chilling it, image. Oh my gosh. The prologue ends with Bane walking away from the camera, and in his hand is Batman's broken mask. Mm -hmm. It is awesome. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Yeah. The bat is going to get broken. So, excited to see awesome. what Christopher Nolan does with it. Yes, absolutely. And I can't wait. I know. It's, it's going to be like being born again. On that, not that religiously speaking, but... <laughs> like <laughs> being a new baby. But if you were a baby, you wouldn't understand this. Yeah. I'm happy with uh, just seeing, like, potentially the most incredible movie of all time. Mm -hmm. There was uh, an extra who worked on the football stadium shoot who, who apparently smuggled this in a phone right. and filmed this mm -hmm. uh, scene in right. this football stadium. Right. However, now that the trailer has been released, the majority of it is centered around right. this football stadium. Right. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of makes me wonder, like, this major leak, supposedly, is in the trailer. Mm -hmm. So essentially, nothing was mm -hmm. lost by mm -hmm. this leak. And it really makes me wonder right. if it's just part of the grand scheme of The Dark Knight Rises exactly. marketing, viral right. marketing scheme. Yeah to release this footage, right. get people hyped up, and then it turns out that it's not a big reveal. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought God I was going to <laughs> Christopher Nolan is so savvy with that kind of thing, and I don't remember hardly any leaks for the previous two films mm -hmm. in this series, and it's just odd that The Dark Knight Rises from the very beginning with that first Lazarus Pit photo that was yeah. leaked, like, right away. And since, just set photo and videos, la la la. Causes one to wonder, is it intentional? Is it all some kind of weird viral marketing campaign? Maybe. Something Maybe to not. think about. The only thing that I personally think <clears throat> suggests not is the whole Miranda Tate, Marion Cotillard photo suggesting that she could be somebody that... But is we're not going to go into that because we've already covered that yes. and it depresses me. <laughs> And the man who broke the bat, he's gonna, he's totally... I'm excited. I really hope he breaks his back. Or kills him or something. If you really <laughs> Catwoman appears to be sitting in the back of a uh, police, police car. car with her head all shaved. And Anne Hathaway, as I'm sure you've seen in photos and such, has long hair. And so, she As head. women do, usually. Unusual. You sexist! Root. This is giving me a lot. Hi, I'm California Cash Refunds.